So first what we want to do is write out the balanced equation. So we have hydrochloric acid with barium hydroxide. And this is going to neutralize to form water and barium chloride. Now to balance this, we put a 2 here and a 2 here. So the problem says we have a 25 milliliter solution of hydrochloric acid and we're neutralizing it with 12.2 milliliters of our barium hydroxide. So what we first want to do is find out how many moles of barium hydroxide we're using and then how many moles of hydrochloric acid we needed to neutralize in order to get to that end point. So we would have 12.2 milliliters Converting this into liters, we have a thousand milliliters per liter. And using the molarity of our barium hydroxide, we have 0 0.240 moles of barium hydroxide per liter. Now we can continue and use the stoichiometry from the problem, which is that one mole of barium hydroxide is going to react with two moles of hydrochloric acid. And so now if we put this into our calculator, we'll have 12.2 divided by 1,000 times 0.24 and then times 2. And so this gives us 0 0.005856 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now it's asking for the concentration of the original solution. So remembering that molarity is the concentration that they're looking for here. We have our moles and now we just need our liters. So we get our liters from this 25 milliliters. So 25 milliliters converted into liters. We're going to divide that by a thousand. And so this is going to give us 0 0.025 liters. And so our final answer is going to be the moles of hydrochloric acid at 0 0.005856 moles divided by the volume, which is 0 0.025 liters. Putting this into our calculator gives 0 0.23424 molarity. Looking at the problem for significant figures, we have three here, three here, and three here. So our answer should have three as well. So we're going to have 0 0.234 molarity as our original concentration for our hydrochloric acid.